Um, I'm Jackie Newton and I um, was appointed uh, to begin uh, a journey here at this school and definitely the Inner Peace Days are part of wellness not only for students but for staff and more importantly for the entire community so it's we're a new community up here um, it used to be a farm and so a lot of people don't really connect well or know um, how to interact with others and so by allowing um, us to be part of an inner peace day um, both in our first year and our second so a repeat um, I think it, it gave us a lot of opportunity to pause do some reflective thinking and most importantly um, to really have a purpose with each other and with ourselves were you listening at the broadcast that's being played at the inner peace day yes um, how did you feel personally when you... you Very heard? moved. Yeah. Um, I, um, it resonated with me on a number of fronts, but really um, about staying true to yourself and about um, taking the time to really understand um, how you relate and interconnect with uh, the world and with each other. Yes, were you able to feel this um, cool sensation in your hands while listening to the broadcast? I was and I was blown away because that's something I'm not good about letting my mind just go and um, by experiencing that it really felt like that there was a there was a sensation that was reaching out to me um, and how do you think that meditation can help students that that's a big thing um, in terms of I think right now the government has moved towards mental wellness and mental health and part of that obviously is meditation and also part of it is a real push right now for teachers to understand growth mindsets and being mindful and I think meditation fills in with that so looking at students as what are their strengths and how they can help students uh, find their strengths and their hope and come to be and I think meditation will have a really key uh, piece of that and I know a number of schools um, are starting to even um, have moments in their day structured um, for that and I think just the practice of doing that in in your own curriculum I think will instead of being a separate identity like inner peace day which is a great launch but making exactly. it part of your root routine and day um, in a school structure and then hopefully that would spill over to your their own home life as well and this year is the 10th year um, of Sahajuga meditation in Houghton is there anything that you'd like to say to uh, this organization that ha has came a few times to the school uh, to provide inner peace workshops and, yeah very uh, appreciative for sure and I really like their way of um, becoming part of our school community so very uh, harmonious uh, not aggressive um, and very inviting how do you think this would help the teachers in, in their teachings? And, uh, well, um, very much so, Shalyn, and I really want to thank you because here at the school, this school in particular was built on the idea that students build their school their way. And this ha is one aspect of allowing students to build it and then for teachers to say, okay, we will follow students and their interests. And so this is a classic example, Shalyn, and you, you walk the talk every day um, people look to you, uh, you're an inspiration for us and uh, for your roots and where your feet have landed and where you hope to fly. Um, our staff really uh, resonate with that um, and not just you but other students as well and collectively together I think you've done an amazing, amazing piece of work here in really teaching teachers and a principal that uh, get out of your way, uh, get out of the students way and let them build their school their way and I think uh, that's why this culture here will uh, be sustained and there will be a sense of wellness. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. That was awesome. Yes. And I hope you have a great, great experience and journey. I hope it really goes well. Thank you.